you guys. So I'm going to try to um, do this homeschool show and tell um, series with um, the Waldock Way and Rooted in Rest. And I want to send a thank you to them for putting this playlist together. And I can't wait to get to know all the other homeschoolers um, and um, follow along and see what everyone else posts. So thanks again. Um, so today's video is a get to know us, which is really fun. And it's homeschool this or that. You can only choose one and some of these are going to be really hard for me. So let's get started. The first one, one of the ones that's hard for me, coffee or tea. I do drink coffee every morning. However, I could drink tea all day. I'm going to go with tea. Earl Grey um, specifically is my favorite, Earl Grey and Lady Grey. Um, and then the second question is, are you an early bird or a night owl? I make myself get up every morning um, to um, start the day around 4, 35 o'clock. However, I am a night owl. I have insomnia. Um, I usually tend to go to bed around 10 o'clock, but I'm up by 2 to 3. So um, I sleep about 10 to 3 and I make myself get out of bed at 4, 35 o'clock to start the day. Um, and then the next question is, are you into paper planning or digital planning? I'm definitely a paper journal notebook stationary kind of girl. I have countless notebooks just filled with ideas and plans and I print a homeschool planner every year. I get mine from One Stop Teacher Shop on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a great planner. You buy it once and she updates it every year. It's my favorite. Um, do I plan ahead or do I plan from behind? Um, I will say majority of our planning is planning ahead. Um, I don't do tons of planning behind, but if we have a cool opportunity, we'll do that, um, as far as, um, like if we get a cool field trip opportunity, I'll try to incorporate that into our curriculum. But other than that, I definitely try to plan almost the whole year ahead of time. Um, do I stick to one homeschool method or am I eclectic? I'm definitely eclectic. I use whatever homeschool method is working best for my children at that time. And are you a homeschool hoarder or are you a minimalist? I don't really think I fit into either of those categories, but I'll go with hoarder because we do have a lot of fun resources that we use. So um, I definitely wouldn't call myself a minimalist. Crayons or markers. This one's hard. Again, neither colored pencils all the way. However, between markers and um, crayons, I'm going to go with markers. Dropped my paper. Um, I like um, the bright colors and um, we like to do a lot of tracing with markers. We use them as highlighters. So I'll say markers. Um, the next thing on the question is whiteboard or chalkboard. When I first started homeschooling, I really, really wanted a chalkboard. That was something that I looked for and I found really nice chalkboards. The problem was no regular chalk. Like all I could find was the homeschool playground. It was like the regular outside school playground chalk. No regular thin white pieces of chalk. I would have had to order them online. I kind of prefer to buy local than order off Amazon or online. So um, I try to support small businesses as much as possible. So. I switched to a whiteboard. We have a whiteboard and we do a lot of dry erase. It's ended up working for the best because the kids can use it for other, the dry erase for other projects as well. Games or puzzles. Um, again, this one's difficult. It's a hard one to choose between. My son is a huge lover of puzzles. However, we use games a lot more, so I'm going to go with games. We use them, um, to um, tie together a lot of different subjects and um, game schooling is really fun. So games, we use more games in our homeschool than puzzles. Screens or no screens? Screens. Um, I am, I love doing hands-on activities with the kids. I love 
getting them to get creative and handwrite and get them outside and do hands-on learning. However, we live in a technological world and I'd be doing them a disservice if I homeschooled them 100% screen free. They have to have basic technological skills to survive in today's day and age. So screens. Pajamas all day or get dressed? PJs. Now here's the thing. There are days where in order to stay on task and if we're on the go and we have places to go and activities to do, of course we get up, we get dressed, we do that. But I am not against a pajama day if um, we are staying home and getting stuff done here as long as we stay on task. So pajamas. I will go with pajamas. Read aloud or independent reading? Read aloud. Um, I, both of my kids always have an independent reading book going. However, um, I love the family style, learning together, reading, asking questions, communicating. It's like a family book club and it's so fun. And it's one of my favorite parts of homeschooling, if I'm being honest. Classic or modern literature? Classic. Um, now here's the thing. Definitely we use a lot of modern literature in our homeschool as well. But I really love referring to the classics. I think that it's a great learning opportunity. I think it introduces them to words in vocabulary that they wouldn't have um, experienced otherwise. And I think that um, classic literature can really tie into some of the new uh, modern literature and it opens up like a whole new world and we love classics. We love the classics. Um, in fact, we just got done the whole Beatrix Potter series and it was so fun. And even though it was like a little young for my daughter's age, she really tied it into like stories and fables that she knows now. So it's really fun. Um, the next one is science or history. I am a history buff. Um, my son would say science. My daughter would say history. I am really into history. Um, I um, have always had, you know, a history um, background. I have always um, been kind of advanced in history and um, I really enjoy teaching that. Um, I've gotten more into science because it's a interest of my sons. So while obviously I would be teaching that regardless, um, I've been taking deep dives with him, which has been great, but personally, my one of my favorite subjects to teach other than language arts is history. Art or music? Art. Um, so my kids enjoy music. We obviously incorporate music into our homeschool, but there's so many fun ways to incorporate art projects and crafts into whatever we're learning about at the time that art has been um, a great creative outlet for all of us. Nature study or poetry tea time? Poetry tea time, easily. Um, we enjoy doing nature studies. We do live in a very rural outside um, area. We're really lucky that way. So my kids, um, we actually have like our own little homestead. So our, my kids are always outside in nature. Um, so we kind of find that nature studies just happen organically throughout the day and throughout our just living our life lives. But um, poetry tea time is something that we have to make an effort to do. And um, my daughter, um, we had used a curriculum earlier on in our homeschool journey that really made my daughter come to me one day and say, who loves reading? She loves reading. And she said, Mom, this I hate doing this and I don't like poetry anymore. And that made me take a step back, cut that curriculum completely out of our repertoire. We added new stuff in and we're doing so much better and we love poetry and I love poetry and both of the kids are learning to love it. And um, that just makes me so happy. So poetry tea time is a great, great for us. Lunch with your kids or lunch alone? Um, while um, I like to do pretty much every activity in my life with my children. Lunchtime is one that I do alone because I am also a student. I am a college student while my kids are homeschool students. So um, 
my lunch time is typically me um, eating something while I get a little bit of schoolwork done. So that is one time of day that I do um, just some one on one time by myself, um, some personal time and get what I need to get done for me. Um, so lunch alone. School at the table or school all over the house. My kids have desks. You can see them behind me. We do have different sections set up like a craft area, an occupational therapy area, science and math, um, science, math and history areas behind the camera. So um, we do homeschool all over this room, but a lot of um, our stuff gets done here kind of try to avoid bringing it out to the rest of the house as much as possible. Um, take summers off or school year round. Um, my first two years of homeschooling, we took summers off. We have switched to a homeschool all year round thing because, um, sort of thing, because we found that for our family, it works best to make learning a lifestyle rather than make learning um, something that just happens between nine and two every day. Um, no, we um, make it a complete lifestyle. We do so many educational trips and activities and it's really a big part of our life that I found that just making it year around is good. We also don't take a lot of time off in the winters as I live in a state that gets a lot of snow. We live in Maine. So um, while other kids that are, might be in public or private schools get um, multiple weeks off for around the winter holidays, we just take the week off between Christmas and New Year's and the rest of that we do some holiday schooling, learning about different cultures and a lot of our regular school curriculum so that um, the required 175 days are usually done by the end of April and then we can continue homeschooling year round just for our personal enjoyment after that. And then the last thing is, would you rather mummify a chicken or dissect a frog? Mummify a chicken. We have chickens. We love learning about them. And I think mummifying one would be like on a completely different level of learning. So um, that would be something interesting to do maybe in the future. Um, I don't really have the interest in dissecting a frog. However, if one of the kids do in the future, I guess we can... Um, either do one of the, um, you know, like plastic ones, one of the virtual ones, or maybe one of the real ones. Who knows? <laughs> we never know what the future brings. So that is um, the homeschool first video of the homeschool show and tell. Um, next month, it's going to be morning time in your homeschool. So um, really go check out the Waldock way. Go check out Rudin and Rust. I love them both. They're both fabulous. I've gotten so many great ideas from them and so much homeschooling confidence um, by watching their videos. So go check them out on Instagram, go check them out on YouTube. I'm sure you guys are already following them because they're amazing. And um, go check out the playlist because um, I'm about to. I'm gonna go watch all the videos and get to know all of these homeschool families and um, I'm just excited. So I will uh, talk to you all soon. Um, keep learning, bye.